Welcome to EcoTherm's step-by-step -step guidance video for installing our insulated plasterboard EcoLiner. If you haven't already purchased your EcoLiner boards, head to our website ecotherm.co.uk to find your local stockist. EcoTherm EcoLiner achieves a finished, insulated wall surface ready for decoration. In this video, we'll provide step-by-step -step installation guidelines, information on preparation details, handling and cutting, finishing details, fittings and fixtures, and some tips you may find useful. A PDF version is available to download from ecotherm.co.uk. Please note, do not use Ecoliner to hide or isolate damp or wet walls. Assess walls to identify a suitable Ecoliner installation method. For further advice, please contact Ecotherm's technical department via the contact details on screen now or via the Ecotherm website. Before you start Ecoliner installation, prepare your area. Place dust sheets down to protect carpets or flooring. Remove room fittings. Ensure walls are clean, dry and free from protrusions and strip gloss paint or vinyl wallpaper. When installing onto existing plastered walls using adhesive method, a bonding agent must be applied and allowed to fully dry prior to Ecoliner installation. Make a space to work in, ensuring tools and materials are accessible. Set out the positioning of Ecoliner boards and make any required board cuts ready for installation. Ensure to allow 15mm off the floor to ceiling height. Consideration should be given to window sockets, doors, phone cables, etc. When handling and cutting Ecoliner boards, do not drop the boards. Damaged boards should not be used. Ensure to wear appropriate hand and eye protection. Cut the boards using a fine tooth saw. Do not breathe in dust caused by cutting and try to avoid dust contact with skin and eyes. Ideally all operations that produce dust should be carried out in well ventilated conditions wearing a dust mask. Boards should be kept dry at all times and wet boards should not be used. We now move on to installation guidelines for Ecotherm Ecoliner using mechanically fixed application. 25 by 50 mil treated timber battens should be used to install Ecoliner. 100 mil DPC strips should be cut and stapled to the back of the battens prior to fixing to the wall. Mark the walls to indicate the position of the battens. Vertical battens should be fixed to the wall at a maximum of 600 mil centers. Hold timber in place, drill through the timber into the wall and secure in place using wood screws and wall plugs or nailable plugs. Use a detector to ensure no cables, pipes or wires are running within the wall. Timbers can be packed out to ensure a level surface. Horizontal battens should be installed at the top and bottom of the wall. Fixings should penetrate a minimum of 45mm into the existing solid masonry and should be no more than 600mm apart and 75mm in from the end of each timber batten. Fix battens around all wall edges, openings and surfaces. Come around the internal wall a minimum of 400mm. Place Ecoliner in position. The board must meet the centre lines of the timber battens with board joints staggered. Secure Ecoliner to the timber battens using drywall screws at 300mm centres and 200mm centres around openings or external corners. The fixing should penetrate at least 25mm into the timber and should be no less than 10mm in from the edge of the board. Ecoliner is now installed and ready to receive finishing details. Tape and joint in accordance with standard good dry lining practice and or skim as appropriate. Seal gaps with PU expanding filler foam between the floor and the Ecoliner board. Apply flexible water-based sealant around windows, door frames, ceilings, sockets, wiring, pipework and between the skirting board and the floor. Your wall is now ready to be decorated. 
some tips you may find useful when installing Ecoliner boards. When cutting Ecoliner, use a fine tooth saw from the plasterboard side and ensure eye protection and gloves are worn. Ideally, cut boards in a well ventilated area. For sockets, measure and cut the hole for the socket using a pad saw. Only qualified electricians should carry out work on electrics. For external corners, channel out the insulation to accommodate the adjoining board. For internal corners, channeling is not required, however do ensure continuity of insulation. Board joints should be as central as possible when installing around a window. For window reveals, use a thin 37.5mm Ecoliner board and apply drywall adhesive to the back of the board or wall to secure in place. Fixings and fittings. Ecotherm recommends the following fixings and fittings in conjunction with Ecoliner. To download a PDF version of these installation details, visit ecotherm.co.uk. Guidelines for installing Ecoliner using dot and dab adhesive are also available on Ecotherm's YouTube channel or at ecotherm.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Please contact the Ecotherm Technical Department with any queries you may have. Visit the Ecotherm website for installation solutions for the entire building.